Hi everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia and today I'm bringing you some neutral fall DIYs that will be perfect transition pieces from summer to fall. The first DIY in today's video is a wood pumpkin from the Dollar Tree that I transformed using chicken wire. Here's what you need. For this DIY, I'm taking one of the wood standing pumpkin signs at the Dollar Tree. They have fabric and usually some sort of saying on one side, but I just flipped it because I'm only going to be using this back blank side. And I covered it in two coats of white Waverly chalk paint. Then before I put the chicken wire on top of the pumpkin, I just went in with some gray paint. This color is Elephant by Waverly, and I'm just kind of adding in the pumpkin lines. When I put the chicken wire over it, it kind of makes it a little bit harder to tell that it's a pumpkin and not just a circle, so those lines really help. I am using chicken wire that I got at the Dollar Tree in the springtime and it was such a good find so if you see this at your Dollar Tree definitely pick it up and I cut this piece of chicken wire out a little bit larger than the actual wood pumpkin and that's because it's so much easier to just bend the chicken wire over and then you only have to add like one or two bits of hot glue to make sure everything stays in place and I thought that you lost the stem a bit in the pumpkin so I did go in with some brown paint and just painted the stem and now I am just embellishing the pumpkin. These were called silver dollars at the Dollar Tree. And I thought they were really cool floral and kind of looked like a vine. I don't know, it reminded me of pumpkin vine. So I went ahead and hot glued that on. And then I decided to make a green bow. And how I make my bows is really simple. I take two pieces of ribbon and the smaller piece I just make into a circle or a loop and then I cinch it in the center and you can see that is the bow part of the bow. And then to add on the tail, I literally just fold the ribbon in half, kind of squish it down and take a piece of jute and we'll tie that in the back. And now our two pieces are connected and it looks like you made the bow just using one long piece of ribbon, but really it is two separate pieces that are held together with the jute. And then I trimmed the jute in the back and I also trimmed down the bow. I wasn't sure how long I wanted it. So I started off long and then just kept trimming as much as I wanted. And the last step is hot gluing my bow onto the pumpkin. And I love how this came out, especially all of the DIYs in this video, because they are so neutral and light. They're the perfect transition from summer to fall. Next, I'm going to show you how to transform this white and gold pumpkin I got from the Dollar Tree. And I will show you three different ways that you can style this and display it in your home. Here are all of the supplies that you'll need to recreate this fun and festive DIY. I'm starting off by using some fall napkins from the Dollar Tree. They have so many out right now, some are pumpkins, leaves, whichever one that you like best and your Dollar Tree has in stock, you can go ahead and pick up because that is going to be the main item that we're using in this DIY. And what I'm doing is just taking my small precision scissors and fussy cutting around the leaf that I like. And fussy cutting is just, you don't have to be precise, you're generally cutting out the leaf, but if there's little bits of the background napkin in it, that's okay. It's going to be taken away by the Mod Podge. So now I have placed my leaf onto my pumpkin and I'm just covering it with Mod Podge. This will dry clear and this is just to make sure that our leaf stays in place. I'm going with a couple more of the more vibrant leaves. I wanted a bit of color on this white pumpkin and I'm just repeating the process. I put a tiny bit of Mod Podge on the napkin itself then once it's stuck to the pumpkin, I'm going over it with quite a lot of Mod Podge over the top just to seal it into the pumpkin. I placed one more leaf on top of the pumpkin and then to break up a bit of that orange and red color, I took these two green leaves and I Mod Podge that down into the center of our two orange leaves. 
Once I finished this DIY, I really liked it, but I was trying to brainstorm other ways to use it rather than just as a trinket jar. So first I took these velvet pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and made a little pumpkin patch scene and also used some copper fairy lights from the Dollar Tree. Another way that you could display this is either turning it into a candle by melting some wax and putting a wick down in there, or you can do like me and just place a tea light inside. And of course, you can always use it as it's intended, just as a catch-all kind of a trinket jar. I think it'd be really cute displayed in a bathroom, maybe put in some cotton balls. I am very excited to say that today's video is in collaboration with Allie over at Actually Allie DIY. So please go and check her out. I will leave her YouTube channel down below and her Instagram, as well as the link that she is doing to her video for today. She is such a talented creator here on YouTube. I have followed her for quite a long time and always been a big fan. I love the way that she edits her videos. They are so professionally done. It's really just amazing. You have to go and check her out. And her DIYs are so fantastic. She will dupe items that look like they should be $100 at Anthropology, but she's using Dollar Tree supplies. She is a super talented creator and I know that you all will love her. So please head on over to her channel, check out her video, and leave her a comment letting her know that I sent you. Let's get back to the crafts. The next DIY is a neutral fall welcome sign. You can place this on your front door or prop it up and display it in your home. Here's what you'll need to recreate it. This year, the Dollar Tree came out with these pumpkin shaped wood blanks, which was so awesome. And maybe they had them last year, but my stores never got them in. And it's way better than having to sand the glitter off a pumpkin sign and paint over it. So I was very appreciative that they came out with these blanks. So first I am just painting this completely in white. I use the Waverly chalk paint and then I'm going in with a stippling brush and this gray paint called Elephant, which is also by Waverly. And I'm just going in and kind of drawing in the lines of the pumpkin and shading everything to give it a little bit more definition. And then the worst thing as a YouTuber happened because I forgot to hit record, but all that I did was cover the stem of our pumpkin sign in jute. And then I have one of these galvanized welcome signs from the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of three with some other sayings and I hot glued that on. Also the Dollar Tree came out with these really pretty white neutral floral picks this year. So I took one and just hot glued that down onto the front part of our pumpkin sign. I just left my sign as is. I plan to prop this up on my mantel and create a pumpkin fall themed scene on there. But if you wanted it to be an actual welcome hanging sign for your door, you could just hot glue some jute to the back of the sign and then hang it on your front door for all to see. My last DIY in today's neutral fall video is flipping one of the wood pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Here's what you need. I took one of the wood pumpkins that the Dollar Tree sells. This one said pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes, or something like that. And I sanded off all of the glitter so that we had a nice smooth surface to paint on. And I took my white Waverly chalk paint and painted both sides of this wood pumpkin. Once the white paint on the pumpkin was good and dry, I went in creating some lines that would be on a normal pumpkin. And also just to distress up this white, so I used my stippling brush and a very dark brown paint called Brown Umber from Apple Barrel. And I'm just going in and adding a bit of definition to our pumpkin. Also, I painted this stem brown because I accidentally got some white paint on it. Once that paint was all dry, I moved on to embellishing the stem area of our pumpkin. So first off, I just took some raffia and I doubled it up so it was a little bit thicker. 
and I tied that and pushed it down to the bottom of the stem. Then I took some of this green floral wire and this is going to be the vines of our pumpkin. So I'm just wrapping it around a pen and then pulling it off and it's all nice and springy like some pumpkin vine. And I just wrapped that around the stem and then kind of just played around with it until I liked the way that the vines were going. I then took some of this buffalo check ribbon and I just tied it in a knot, not a bow. I wanted it a little bit messier looking. And then I again just started playing around with everything, fixing my vines and trimming all my ribbons so they were a little bit shorter. I loved how it turned out just as is, but I wanted to add a small pop of color even in this neutral DIY. So I did add in some green eucalyptus picks. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.